I will assume you already have Battle.net and Hearthstone installed in the way that I showed in the other video. Then we go to the Hearthstone Deck Tracker GitHub, the one for Windows. It should say C down here. And we go here. And then we download the zip file. Then we extract it. And we go inside it. And then this folder you can put wherever you want it to be. Since I already have a Blizzard folder, I will just put it right next to Hearthstone. And inside of it, you should find this and Hearthstone Deck Tracker.x. Then we link this X file to Steam, add a game, add a non Steam game, browse. Then I go to my Blizzard folder and we add Hearthstone Deck Tracker.x. Add. It will show up here. Then we go right click, properties, compatibility, force to use, and we select the same Proton that we use for this battle net here. So for me, it's also this one, Proton 10. Then under properties, we copy paste this command that I will also put in the description into the launch options. And for the XXX here at the end, we need to put the number of the compat data folder that Battle.net here is using. For that, we go to the home folder. Don't forget to activate show hidden files to see the .steam folder. .steam, Debian installation, Steam apps, compat data. And if you're not sure which one it is, you can start up Battle.net and then go inside the folder and see which one just was modified. Or you just go look for Battle.net and it will show you probably just one. So I know it's this one, 2292. Two, so it's this one. And then we copy this. We can just go F2, Control C, copy, escape. And then we copy this in here. There's a space after the number between these. That's it. Then we close it and now we can start it. Then this should appear. Let's go. And then, yeah, it's going to take you to a side. Then we want to go to options first. Advanced options. Um, overlay general. Hide in menu. We uncheck this so it does show in the menu so we see if it's working or not and then the second thing is we go to hotkeys under tracker under action we go to toggle overlay and then you can set something here or just one key i will just use this weird key add new okay and now we press this that should start Battle.net and then Hearthstone. I can already see this up here, but last time I had to restart it once for this to show up. So I just went to my collection and it already tracked it. Otherwise you have to click play and cancel and then it should show. Now there is a problem with it sometimes not registering. I click but it doesn't do it for a couple seconds until it finally clicks. I don't know if this is a GNOME problem I tried this in VirtualBox with Linux Mint and with Cinnamon, I didn't have this. The only way that I can fix this is using Xorg instead of Wayland when I log into my account in the beginning screen. But I want to use Wayland. So the best way that I found to deal with this problem is to just use the hotkey to disable the overlay in the menu. If the overlay button isn't working, then you might have to reselect Hearthstone with either the Windows key and then selecting Hearthstone or Alt-Tab and then selecting Hearthstone while holding t Alt and then it will work. The good news is that I only had this problem in the main menu and the collection. When playing a game, the problem vanishes for some reason. The overlay also works, so you can read the cards. They appear slower than in Windows Especially the first time, I think it has to load it once first, and then it's a little faster. If you stay inside Hearthstone, you probably don't have to reselect Hearthstone like this. But if you click outside, like maybe you pause a YouTube video or so, 
then you will have to reselect Hearthstone like this to get the overlay and also for the screenshot function. I thought activating this again would solve the problem with the click through in the collection and the menu, but the overlay is still there and the problem is also still there. It needs to be hidden completely with the hotkey. I have seen a different guide where someone used bottles to run Hearthstone Deck Tracker and they fixed it by reducing the DPI to 93, but I cannot change the DPI below 96 with Proton Tricks, as far as I know. Initially, I had problems with the overlay showing up on my second screen here. This is my main screen, it showed up here, and I couldn't figure out why. And it was because this screen here was higher than the other two. When I took it away, I turned it off, it worked fine and it would show up on free normally, like here. It also works fine if I line it up like this, but the top line has to be the same on each one. Otherwise it will show up on some random screen for some reason. On a side note, the first time that we started this, Hearthstone Deck Tracker through here, it already had this launch option in to use the same Compat Data folder as Battle.net, but it still creates a new Compat Data folder, but it's empty. 